Okay, so today we're going to learn how to do stealth in the Doom Snap Map. Now, there's two ways to do this there's an easy way and a hard way. We'll do the easy way first. First, we'll take a demon. Okay. Now, we're going to set him to ambush. Okay, ambush works that they only see you. Only if they see you, they'll attack you. If they don't see you, they won't attack you. If they hear something, they might, but unless they see it, they, they won't go near you. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put a wall here. And we'll leave it on so that way you can see it. Block demons while we're at it. Okay. Now, when I spawn in, he's going to be on the other side of this wall. Even though we can see through it, he can't see us. Okay, and watch what happens when we spawn. Spawn in. He can't see us. If he can't see us, he won't attack us. Fire your gun off and stars him a little bit, but he still won't attack you. As soon as he comes around that wall, though, now he sees us. He doesn't respawn, unfortunately. That's where the demon parts work. Now what you can do, let's see if we make a, a bit of a brick wall. No, no we're not going to make a brick wall. We'll just do something else. We're going to set up a whole perimeter. Make this one a little bit smaller. About 12. And then we're going to set up another little wall here. But we're going to make this one invisible. So we're gonna shrink size out of two fifty six. Okay. So now he's not gonna see us through this. He won't see us through this. But since we're walking the other side of it, he'll see us. As I will demonstrate. Let me uh, make this textured. So the AI spawns in. Now obviously he can't see us. I walk over here. He still can't see us. As I walk through this though. Oh, he sees me. He goes around and starts shooting at me. There you go. That's how you make it so that they can't see you. You walk around them. But as soon as you walk in their zone, bam, they got you. Okay. Well, that's the easy way to do it. Let's do it the hard way. Now, 
this is for the more complex stuff, so. Let's get that textured. And then we'll make a size of this width will be about 256. This one we're going to make visible. It's gonna be invisible, so we can walk through it and everything. This way, you make it so it blocks the demons, so they don't come through. If you want to do that. Basically, keep them in their spot, or you're gonna get rid of it all together. So now, let's put that back. I'm going to need that anyway. Let's go and put our demons in here. Now, these you can't change the behavior of, but you can change what kind of demon you want to put in here. Map start. Spawn that guy in. And then we're going to make him team two. You make him three or four if you want. I'm just making him two. Include spawned. Custom event. This is going to set him for team one. He spawned. Another new one, this, and this one's going to sit at the team, too. Okay, so we got two enemies here. They're both amps, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Now the next part. I don't need that now. Start. Player input. We're going to make that enabled. Push a button. Activate a Boolean. We're going to toggle it. And this button is going to be crouch. That change will test itself. That's good. Untested true. Trigger the first custom event that will set it all to team one. So they won't attack us. We set it to false. For the other event, and I'll set it to team two, so they will attack us. So we gotta do this. Looks off. Just want to start. Nope. Seven sixty eight. And that's what those dial are in. Okay, put a filter on it for players only. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. On entered. Set that to false. And, whoops. Yeah. hate when that happens. And we'll disable the player input. So if you walk into their area, even when we're crouched, it'll set it to false, put them back onto team two, and then they'll start attacking us again. When we leave that area, it won't turn it back. Exit it, it'll just set it, it'll just enable the player input again. Okay. 
So now what will happen is that we will crouch, and when we crouch, it sits on the team one, so they'll be on our side, which means they basically won't see us. Okay, it makes it so they can't see you, and you remain in stealth mode. When you stand up, they will attack you because they're no longer in stealth mode. If you walk into their area, they obviously will automatically see you, and then, of course, it will turn stealth mode off, and then now they'll attack you no matter what. And it won't work until you get out of that mode, or out of this area. That's basically what's going to work. Also, make sure you go to gameplay settings. Friendly POIs off. That way they don't have any icons above their heads when uh, they're in stealth mode. Unless you want to leave them on anyway, that's up to you. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I don't sit back and I record. Some spawns in, they can see me. I crouch. They can't see me. I stand up, they can see me. I crouch. They forget I'm here. But if I walk into their zone, you see me right away. Crouching no longer works. But if I get out of that area and I crouch, I think I go, oh, there he is. That's dangerously close. So if I stand up, they can see me. Crouch, they forget I'm here. And of course, if I go in their circle, disables that right away. I gotta get out of there. Crouch again. They can't see me. And that's how you get that working. If you want these guys to stay in this spot, just use AI pads. Which are really easy to use. The game actually does tell you how to use these things. They're in the uh, Snap Academy beginners area. Uh, just go there and it teaches you how to use AI pads. That way you can put them where you want them. And let those guys follow their own spots. And that's it. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you all for watching. And you all take care.